Kyoto by sea, hearing the phrase, I guess some of you might feel strange. But in fact, that exists in the northern part of Kyoto. With a couple of hours on the road from Kyoto city, you can end up in the Tango Peninsula, which is a beautiful unspoiled destination with stunning castle scenery. This area has some attractive places like the natural land bleach created over thousands of years and a small fishing village with a collection of boarding houses built right on the water. In this video, I'll show you what this beautiful area is like. We arrived at Ine no Hunaya. This is a small fishing village tucked tightly between the mountains and bay. The remarkable feature is the boat houses called Hunaya. The boats are housed on the first floor, with the second floor serving as a dwelling area. When you see them from the bay, they look like standing up on the sea. Ine is absolutely one of the most picturesque villages in Japan. To see the true beauty of the houses standing up on the sea, you can join the boat tour. The tour explores the beautiful scenery of the bay in 30 minutes. One of the fun parts of the tour is seagull feeding. You can purchase bird feed at the shop and give it to the seagulls that flock around the boat. It was impressive to see the birds catch the food in mid-air, but the distance with the seagulls and even black kites was too closer that we were terrified of it. After enjoying the fan and a bit scary boat tour, we drove 40 minutes and headed to Amano Hashidate. To catch the panoramic view, you can reach the top of the mountain via cable car or chairlift. This time we chose the chairlift and enjoyed the dynamic view while feeling the wind. Amano Hashidate is one of Japan's three most scenic places called Nihon Sanke. From ancient times, it's been said that the natural land fleet seen from the mountain looks like a pathway between heaven and earth. The mysterious sculpture created over thousands of years was truly amazing. Oh 